I had gunshots and police running through my yard at 4 a.m. after this happened. Eric Kerr lives across the Mount Olympus trailhead. Early in the morning on August 3rd, police say 18-year-old Mayod Welday was shot and killed and two others were assaulted in the parking lot. On Monday night, SWAT teams with the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office arrested 20-year-old Mateo Martinez and an unidentified 15-year-old. Sheriff Rosie Rivera says the two will face homicide charges. These are violent individuals. They belong to a violent gang, a uh, known gang here in Salt Lake County. But the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office believes the victims had no ties to any gang and that this was random. We do not believe they are gang involved at all. They were just probably in the wrong place at the wrong time. And uh, it was just very unfortunate and very tragic. When I spoke with people at the trailhead and told them what happened, there was a lot of shock. Kind of an unusual experience, kind of surprising, typically very safe. At Tuesday's Salt Lake County Council meeting, Eric says more needs to be done to protect that area. Since the parking lot has gone in, We've seen an increase in shenanigans and gang activity. A lot of youth gathering uh, late at night till early in the morning. Now there was another gang related arrest in Salt Lake City Monday night by the Salt Lake City Police Department's gang unit. A 19 year old taken into custody after a shooting Saturday night that injured a 55 year old woman. We do recognize that, that that type of activity does happen in our community and we're grateful again to have our gang unit to stay connected, to stay involved in what's going on in our community and provide that extra resource to our other detectives and our other officers. Sheriff Rosie Rivera says there is an alarming trend when it comes to gang activity across the county and state. We're finding out that there's more juveniles involved and that is what's concerning. Trying to get families involved to help prevent gang violence. Many times you can tell, you know, by their clothing or they've got a new tattoo or really we identify them because they tell us they're part of a gang. So if your child is telling you they're part of a gang, you probably want to get more involved. At the Mount Olympus Trailhead, I am Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.